All right. Well, welcome to Pinga Boot Camp session number four. This is the fourth and final video that we've created to support our new consultants in just learning the basics and getting familiar with the basic skills and the basic knowledge and the basic resources that, that you'll need to be successful. Now, moving forward from today, you'll still need to build on this um, education that you've received in these videos. Um, long learning process of Mary Kay. So you're still going to need to build upon what you've received in Pink Boot Camp, but I hope you feel good about just covering the basics and I hope you feel equipped to really move forward and be successful. And so this is our fourth one. This is on business management. We're going to cover a lot of little uh, topics and categories. Okay, so we're going to just be all over the place. And then this is just a reminder that these videos follow along with the new book and it's just this packet, this very beautiful packet that has pages and resources and uh, flyers for a lot of things I'm going to be talking about, your resource in this packet to refer to as you're getting the information. So if you haven't already, print that out. Um, your, uh, the way you uh, kind of officially say like, hey, I'm done and I completed this is to send me pictures of the front page of each of each session that we're doing. So there's four sessions, and after each session, you you answer questions. And the questions are: What thing that stuck out to you the most? What to take action on based on what you've learned? What feels the most challenging about this session? And what's your next most effective step in mastering the skills of this this session? Those four questions after each of the four videos, and then you're just boxing me a picture of it. And that's how you get credit for completing it. And when you're all done with the four videos and you've answered those four questions and you've completed the challenge, there's also a challenge that comes along with each session. And so the challenge of this session is to fill out your weekly with your ideal Mary Kay schedule and box me a picture when you're finished with it. And we're going to cover time management and how to fill out a weekly plan sheet in this video. And when you're all done, you get this Mary Kay pendant necklace. Can you see that? It's gold, shiny, beautiful, lovely necklace that you receive when you complete these trainings. So, okay, so let's move forward with our business management section here. And I'm going to start with a 12-step program. And you, you may have heard of that. You may be familiar with that. And it's a program that we have for brand new consultants that are 12 simple individual steps that you take to uh, learn about your business, to, to get organized, and to set yourself up for success. Simple, and they get a little bit more involved towards the end. But that is such a strong place to start is just with those 12 steps. Don't you hit me your bra strap keeps falling down. <laughs> okay, so the 12 step program, and there is a checklist in your new consultant workbook that has the 12 steps, and you sort of just check them off as you go. Whenever you're feeling overwhelmed or not sure what to do next, just go back to the 12 steps and just try to check something off. Um, it helps you to feel like you're winning, helps you to feel a sense of accomplishment and like you're moving forward. So this 12 step program can really support you in being successful. And step eight is to complete Pink Boot Camp, which you are doing right now. So congratulations. Okay, um, let's move on to the perfect 12 program. So I grew up in Mary Kay doing the Gen X program. And recently we transformed the brilliant, incredible Gen X program into the perfect program. This program is a focus on holding parties for a one month time frame. And there's different levels. There's perfect four, six, eight, and 12. So in a 30 day time frame, you can hold four parties, six parties, eight parties, or 12 parties. And you get recognition at each level for completing the party along with a certain amount of sales. Um, and then sharing the opportunity with a certain amount of people and a certain wholesale order. And so we have a tracking sheet that is incredibly helpful. But before I show you the tracking sheet, I just want to share some of the benefits. And when I think back to being and working with Gen X program, I'm so grateful that I had that program because it just gave me a path to run on. Because when you're new, you're like, well, what's what's good and what's you know, what's enough or what's success or, so, you know, what do I do next? And, and Gen X just answered some of those questions for me. Give me this path to run on. 
So every month I'm like, okay, my goal is to do Gen X. And then I just work to do the activity that would reach those numbers or Gen X elite was the higher level. Um, and so it gives you a run on, it gives you a goal. The goal can be really powerful and motivating, helps us to focus. focus. Um, it gives you small wins along the way and throughout the month. Um, it helps to keep you motivated, get a lot of recognition when you complete it and prizes from your director and from your national sales director. It teaches you to track your numbers, which any savvy business person uh, needs to learn to do and knows how to keep track of your numbers and you keep track of your numbers and grow and it helps you to focus. So there's just a lot of power in focusing on the perfect 12 program. Um, and it helps you to protect your income. You know, I know that's not motivating for everyone, but I, I, I think for the majority of people who started Mary Kay, I'm sure you'd like to make some extra income. And so it helps you to track that and project the possible income that you could be bringing in with the Mary Kay business. So let's go to the tracking sheet right now and take a look at that. Um, that should be popping up on your screen here. So that's, here's the 12 step program checklist that's in your packet. And then the next page is the perfect 12 program. And so it's very, very simple. You guys, you are just tracking your parties right here. And if an official party is you, or I'm sorry, it's the hostess plus two guests. Okay, so you show up and there's a hostess plus two guests or more, and that's a party. People over 18 who don't have a, another Mary Kay consultant, and that is considered a party. And a full circle party is defined right here. It's when you have 200 in sales, two future bookings, and two career survey books. Now, just to clarify this, as long as you have the hostess with two guests, you can put it down here on your tracking sheet, that party. Um, and then you, you don't necessarily need to hit these numbers for it to count um, for your perfect four program, but this is good, just benchmark, bare minimum, results that you would want to be getting at the party. You want to go in and get at least $200 in sales. You want to book two future parties and you want to book at least two career surveys. So you can record your um, results here. And then as you see, it's highlighted in pink. Here's a perfect four, six, eight, well, in our area called Epic 20. And that's for, for women uh, who hold 20 parties in one month time frame. Then you can track your faces over here. And although the program is focused on parties, you can track your facials here and your double facials. Because if you just meet with someone one-on-one, -on -one, it doesn't really count for a party, but it still counts for something. And so you can track the faces right here. You track your career surveys and guests for me right here. Once you write her name down, you circle if she's a yes, a no, or a maybe. And if she's a no or a maybe, you write down her next layer. What would be the next best thing to do with her to continue to share the Mary Kay product and opportunity with her? And we covered the layering process in the recruiting video. And then here you record your sales. And the 1,000 retail per week, that's just a goal we want you to stretch to. Okay, it's not something you have to hit to qualify for the perfect program, but it's something we want you to stretch to. You put your uh, retail that you sold to them in your wholesale order, and then you record your new team members right here. And then at the end of the month, you turn in a picture of this to myself or to your director, total numbers for the month. And this is really important to track this and to know this, to turn it into your sales director for recognition at the end of the month. Okay, so that is the perfect program. We sleep, eat, breathe the perfect program in the Unleashed area. It, it's your ticket to success. It's your, your path to run on, and um, it's a way to be recognized. I mean, I just can't even support you in your Mary Kay business. So let's move on to kind of the sister to the perfect program is party time, the party time program. That's why it says the perfect 12 programs meets the party time program, because this is a focus on your bookings, which will lead you to the parties. So they go hand in hand sheet to track your parties and we do recognition on the 5th of every month and on the 15th actually the 16th of every month you turn your numbers in on the 16th or the 15th and we recognize it on the 16th and so the goal is to hit a party time 8 or 12 by the 5th and the 15th okay it helps you to set up a strong month 
and sustain a strong month because you're getting bookings and adding parties to your date book throughout the entire 30 days. And so let's start with party time 12 and, and explain this. Um, with party time 12, um, you're essentially, let's say you do it by the fifth. Parties are gonna hold most likely and the other half are gonna cancel or reschedule. And so when you have it by the fifth, it really sets you up to do a perfect six. Okay, 12 parties equals six that are gonna be held. Now, if you do a, per a perfect 12 twice, if you've got 12 booked by the 5th and then 12 books by the 15th again for that same calendar month, it really sets you up to achieve a perfect 12. Okay, because you're booking 12 to hold 6, then you're booking another 12 to hold 6. And then a party time 8, sort of the same thing. If you complete a party time 8 by the 5th, you're most likely going to finish with a perfect 4. And then if you complete a party time again by the middle of the month, you're going to do another four parties, which equals a, a perfect eight. Okay, so you see how they go hand in hand. And by getting the bookings, that is what really sets you up uh, to complete the perfect program. Space to just write your parties, and then you can track whether you've confirmed it, have you pre-profiled the guests, and have you gotten a guest list. So you can keep that on this uh, tracking sheet and so my best advice you guys is just use the sheets okay here's the perfect 12 program sheet and then here's the party time sheet so use the sheet they're there to support you they're there to help you focus they're there to help you stay organized and keep track and so print them off stick them in your Mary Kay binder or folder and use the sheets I promise that they will be helpful and support you in your success okay so let's go back to the screen here. And the next topic I want to talk about are the events that we have in Mary Kay. We have this saying in Mary Kay that you have to show up to go up. And I truly believe that this world is a run by people who just show up. Show up like you've beaten out, you know, the majority of everyone else just by showing up because it helps you to be successful. And you're in the space of big thinkers and you're in the space of leaders and you learn to work like they work and think like they think and lead like they lead. And so that's why we show up to events. Another reason why is because it helps you to think a new thought. Did you know that 90% of the thoughts you, you are thinking, you will think again tomorrow. And 90% of what you're going to think again today. It's just normal that we have a lot of repeated thoughts. And so sometimes we need to break out of certain thought patterns and thought cycles and that's why we go to events and that's why we read books so we have new fresh thoughts which opens up our world perspective and it changes our life and so that's why we have you come to these events because they truly are they truly are life-changing to be in the space of what unfolds at all the events that we do so here are the four main ones there are some extra ones throughout the year that you'll learn about us as we go through the year, but here are the four main ones. Start with seminar. Seminars in Dallas every year in July. Then the company puts on, and you go with your uh, there's groups, and you go with your seminar. So we're the Diamond Seminar uh, seminar, and we go for four days every July, and it's a powerful life changing event. Okay. Then there's Fall Advance in the fall, and that's local to the uh, Indiana area. And then we go to January Jump Start in January, and that's usually in Cincinnati. And then we have career conference in the spring, which is usually in Cincinnati or some Ohio container place. Also, if you're not local to Ohio, um, you career conferences happen all over the United States, so you can get plugged in locally. And honestly, usually there's a local January Jump Start and a local fall advance if you are not within a reasonable driving distance to the Unleashed Area events. Okay, so those are the four events. And I just wanna, uh, want you to know of them because I want you to have them on your radar and I just want you to understand the value of them. Uh, I read the book called The Millionaire Next Door and it's basically this study of millionaires all over America who make a million, but people who have a net worth of a million. A million because there's a big difference. You can make a million dollars and spend a million in one and you're still living paycheck to paycheck and potentially in debt, okay? You can make $50,000 a year and if you're wise and savvy with your money over time, you can build a net worth of a million dollars, okay? So they study people in America who have a net worth of a million dollars and they found something that these people had in common. 
common is that they invest a lot of money in their personal growth and in their business. And they believe that that investment in themselves and in learning and growing and developing themselves and then investing in their business so that their business can grow, they believe that's one of the reasons they are millionaires. Now, then they did a study of just Americans, the rest of America, not millionaires, and they found that they spend the most money on entertainment, eating out, movies, um, cable television, um, any form of entertainment is what they spend the most money on, not on personal growth and development. Okay, so if you want to grow to be a millionaire or have some uh, wealth developed, do what the millionaires do. And what they do is they, they invest in themselves. And the thing is, they, they invested in themselves before millionaires. I'd be thinking, well, of course they invest in themselves, they have the money. No, they made more they created wealth. And it was because of those choices which allowed them to develop wealth. Okay, since so you guys, it's about investing in you and in your personal growth, your development, your leadership, your future, and your family. Okay, so show up to go up. So let's move to our next topic, which is about the Star Consultant Program. And so very similar to the Perfect Program and Party Time, you guys, the Star Consultant Program is just another program that supports you in being successful, supports you in having a goal and a focus and something to work towards. Again, you just have a path to run on, and there's a lot of power in that. And then you earn a lot of perks and recognition for being a star. And so it's broken up by quarters. There's four quarters in the year. Their very first quarter in Mary Kay, you guys, starts on June 16th. And it goes to September 15th. That's the very first quarter in the Mary Kay year. And then the second quarter starts on September 16th and goes to December 15th. The third quarter starts on December 16th and goes to March 15th. And then the fourth and final quarter starts on June and goes to June 15th. Okay, so that's how they're broken up. And basically every quarter, everybody starts off at zero. And then you have an opportunity to build star level based on your sales and based on your team building. And then you're recognized in your unit, you're recognized in your national area, and you're recognized by the company for being a star consultant, the minimum level being 1,800 wholesale, which is called a Sapphire Star. Um, and it's just really, really fun. And here's the thing, by working the perfect program at perfect six or higher, you will automatically be a star. Um, by all these programs and ideas, you do a perfect six, hold one to two parties a week, and it will automatically put you at a star level because you're selling enough to support a $600 order per month, 100 from wholesale, that equal into the quarter, and you're automatically a star consultant. And if you're selling more than that, and if you're also team building, you can climb to the different levels. So Sapphire is 1,800 wholesale. Ruby is 2,400 wholesale. Diamond is 3,000 wholesale. Emerald is 3,600 wholesale. And then Pearl is 4,800 wholesale or higher. Now, once you hit 1,800 wholesale, your team building credit can kick in if you choose to team build. And you get a $600 point or credit towards your uh, star consultant total number um, for every qualified team member that you add. And remember, a qualified team member starts their business and then starts with a $600 wholesale order or higher. Now, it has to be within that quarter for, for it to count. The agreement and the order has to be within this quarter, the dates that I went through, um, for it to count towards that $600 or 600, I guess, point credit towards your um, star status. So let's say you hit 1,800 yourself and as one qualified team member, it automatically bumps you up to the next star level, which is Ruby at 2,400. Um, okay, and again, again, let's do the Perfect Six program. If you just focus on a Perfect Six, part of that, part of that Perfect Six program is having at least six career surveys. So sharing the opportunity woman that usually is gonna give you one to two team members um, and usually, you know, one or two of them will become qualified in, in a one month's time frame. So the Perfect Six program is also a focus on the Star Consultant program because it's going to be giving you the activity needed to finish up your star. Okay, let me break down the numbers based on retail. Um, because of course your wholesale order that's going into Mary Kay, retail sales that you're selling at your parties and your facials. Okay, of course they go hand in hand. And so let's say you just wanted to be a Sapphire star. On average, 
on average, you need, you need to sell $300 every week. Now, you don't have to do it. It doesn't have to be equal to qualify. Okay, so you could do it all in the last week of the month and still be all broken equal, but we're just doing averages because I think it's helpful to know the average. So on average, you need to sell 300 a week. Half of 300 retail is 150 wholesale. Okay, so that's what you're reordering. 50 wholesale for 12 weeks in a row, it puts you at 1,800 wholesale, that, that Sapphire Star level. Now, Ruby is selling 400 retail a week. Uh, Diamond is selling geek. Emerald is selling 600 retail per week. And then Pearl is selling 1,000 retail per week when you don't factor any in any team buildings if you were just strictly doing it on sales alone. And so that's the scoop on the Start Consultant Program. And the last thing I'll share with you, well, a couple more things, is um, being a four-quarter star. Okay, this is a really big deal in our area and with the company is being a four-quarter star. So that means you are a star all four quarters of the year. You actually earn this lovely luncheon. It's a catered luncheon on nice china. And you get that at seminar from Mary Kay while everybody else is eating a box lunch and waiting in. You get taken into a beautiful banquet room for a catered, beautiful, lovely lunch. Okay, we work for free food. <laughs> That's probably one of my top five motivations is, is any kind of dining experience. I'm, I'll work for that. I'm on board for that. And then also in our, our national area, at the end of the year, we recognize four quarter stars. They get VIP treatment at our banquet and at seminar. VIP treatment is always really, really good. We always do something fun and different for VIP treatments. You get like the extra special treatment and prizes and gifts and recognition. And it's just a big place that we recognize because we recognize consistency and we want to celebrate the women who work their business with consistency. And so um, that's another perk that you can go to the packet because I want to make sure you know about this worksheet here. It's called 21 Ways to Finish Your Star. Let's pull it up here. Here it is. And uh, first at the top, you walk to actually crunch your numbers and to know what numbers you're working towards. And it gives you 21 ideas of how to sell product. Most of them are pretty simple. But it gives you ideas that um, you can be working on throughout the entire quarter just to generate more sales. Okay, so I wanted to make sure you knew about that resource. All right, let's move on to our next topic. And that is um, your website and ProPay and the PCP program. So you have a Mary Kay website that you can set up. It would be MaryKay.com slash whatever you want your name to be after it. And it's a place that your customers can go and order. Now, there is a separate uh, video about the website. So I'm not going to dive into a lot of detail right now, except to say watch that video, the 12-step program. And so it's one of those things that you check off on your list of 12 is to set up your website and to customize your website. And all I really want to say is, like, just get one. Just pay the $25 and sign up and do it today. Um, to try to have a successful business in the world that we live in without a website, I mean, like, are you crazy? Okay, so spend the $25, get the website, it will pay you back in the very first order that you get, and it's just a wonderful tool to build your business. And our video we created for that, for um, more details, and make sure you get your prize and your gift from myself for setting up your website, okay? Now, ProPay is, is a way that we can take credit and debit cards. You can set up the account, and it automatically connects to your website, so it allows to um, order from your website using a credit or debit card. If you don't have ProPay, you kind of have to chase them down and get a check from them, which can be inconvenient, and it's inconvenient for you and for her. People just want to enter in their credit card. It's a secure form of payment, uh, method of payment, mm -hmm. and then you can process right then and there. Uh, ProPay funds go into your ProPay account, and from there you can use them directly to reorder products, or you can deposit them into your Mary Kay checking account. Uh, available uh, are different ways that you can use those funds or move them around. And again, I just want to say, like, just get ProPay. Like, to not give people an option to use a credit or debit card in today's world is just 
kind of crazy. And so spend the $29, that's what it costs to set it up, spend the $29 and get ProPay because it's a business tool that supports growth and convenience and customer service that you can um, create in your Mary Kay business. PCP program, no drug. It PCP stands for pre Preferred Customer Program. Uh, there's a page for this program on Mary Kay in Touch, and the program goes with the quarters. So you know how the star quarter is broken up? Well, that's also how we break up the release of the lookbook and the release of new products. And so once a quarter, we have a catalog products that come out. Some are limited edition, some are regular line. And so when that happens, you have the opportunity to enroll your customer in PCP. That basically means you are selecting them to have the company send them a catalog that comes with a sample and it has your contact information. It is 70 cents per person that you enroll. It would cost you more money if you tried to do this on your own. Like you just try to get all the catalogs and put labels on and stamps on and mail them yourself, which you can't do. It's gonna cost you more money a lot more time. And so uh, just have have the company do it. And what happens when customers into my customer database, then you can go into PCP and you just select the ones you want to send it to. I, I don't your best customers and what this allows you to do is to follow up with her. Because then you'll know when the lookbook drops and it shows up in her mailbox and that's when you get, up, get on the phone and you do some follow-ups. And in Mary Kay, we don't want one night stands. <laughs> that's where you just sell somebody mascara and you never talk to her again. With Mary Kay, we want a lasting, a long lasting relationship. And a way to build a lasting relationship with your customers is to provide great customer service. A great way to provide customer service is to say, hey, here's a catalog, and can I help you with anything? Do you need anything right now? Can I drop anything off? Or hey, we're doing this sale right now, you can get a discount. Or how are your products working for you? Um, it's a way to provide customer service to a lasting, with your customers okay and so we do announcements every time the PCP is rolls around so that you don't miss the deadline and then you just get in on in touch select the customers you want to send it to and boom it's done and then you follow up several weeks later those list of customers that you enroll okay all right let's talk accomplishments okay so this is the way that you report your numbers now we do that by submitting your perfect 12 work uh, flyer and tracking sheet to that and over that. And you're turning that into your sales director once a week to be accountable with your numbers. There's another way to do it, and it's called weekly accomplishments. And it's sort of, re you're kind of reporting the same numbers in two different ways. And you may even have the thought, why do I have to do this two different times? Okay, so let me tell you why. The perfect program is what our area does, but then weekly accomplishments is for you to have a record of your numbers when tax season rolls around. When this roll around, you can get into weekly accomplishments and you get this nice one page report that shows you all your totals in some categories that are going to be very, very important. Um, so your total sales, the total tax that you charged, um, the total um, product that you gave away to host a set of the tax well. So you have to give a discount. And then also the sales tax that you didn't recover is also considered a business expense. And so you want to know those numbers. And so you do weekly accomplishments for that reason. Let me just give you a tip. Don't let your sales tickets pop a mile high get into a week with weekly accomplishments and enter them. Now you could, you could, you could not do it all year. And on December 31st, enter all your sales tickets into a weekly accomplishment. But that is a daunting to avoid that kind of stress. And let's just do it weekly so that you're just entering a few sales tickets each week instead of this mile high pile. Um, also, it helps you to know your numbers each week and that is very motivating and can help you to focus. So just trust me on this and that doing it weekly is to your advantage. And then we do recognition monthly in our unit that the women who submit their weekly accomplishments, you get a big buck that I send you for every 100 retail that you sell. 
So if you sell a thousand retail that month, um, you get postcards worth 10 Mary Kay bucks. And then at different events throughout the year, you have an opportunity to spend your MK bucks. And what I do is just get section two products and supplies together and sometimes products where you can just come in and spend it and you can get a bunch of um, supplies that will support you in your business. Okay, and so you want to report it for recognition and then you want to do it for taxes. Now, when you go to weekly accomplishments, you guys, it's fairly self-explanatory. Fairly. You may have some questions, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You're entering the hostess's name, then they ask you how many hours it's spent you spent doing the party, how many guests were there, how many people ordered, how many bookings you got, how many skincare sets you sold, um, what your total sales were, how much tax you charged, how much you gave away to your hostess, just to anyone, and the non-recovered sales tax. And so those are pretty simple categories to report. And so let's say I had a party with Stacy, I would enter Stacy's name and all the information from Stacy's party. Then all my reorders, I just enter into one line. So maybe I got $500 in reorders that month. I'm just gonna title, instead of hostess's name, I just highlight reorders. And then I fill in the rest of the information for reorders site category. Let's say you have a double facial with Sally and Stephanie, and it was at Sally's house. I would just enter in Sally's name and all the numbers that came from Sally's um, double facial. Um, if you just had a facial, I would just enter Tina's name for your facial and then all the information that happened at Tina's facial. Okay? And then um, the rest of the numbers are fairly self explanatory. Let me talk about the last two, which are giveaway products. So let's say you do a um, little game. That's a game in your flip chart that we teach you to do where you pass an eyeliner. Or you start an eyeliner with someone and they have to pass it every time you say second appointment or follow-up appointment, giving that eyeliner away for free. Well, you want to record that. That was just a giveaway item that you gave away for free. It's a tax advantage and consider an expense in your business. They want to keep track of it, that amount of the value of that product. And then you also didn't recover the sales tax. So that's non-recovered sales. For sales tax, that you would have recovered but you didn't you put in that area because again it's, it's an expense and it's, a, it, it's an advantage to you to know that number when it comes tax time and we are going to talk about taxes very briefly um, in a few minutes here so that's weekly accomplishments so just just do it and just do it um let's move on to office organization okay so you have a couple of pieces of paper in mary Kay that it's to your advantage to Keep track of these and, and find a system for organization. So let me just give you a couple of tips that might be helpful. From a party, you have a sales ticket, um, a profile card, or a party sheet. Some people in our unit and in our area use a party sheet instead of a profile card, one or the other, or you might have both. Those are the really the main two pieces of paper. Then plus you have your tracking sheets. So what I would recommend is put all your tracking sheets in a binder, and then you use your Party referrals, you're going to have a section for, for your party sheets in there, too, because you're going to have referrals that you're going to use for booking. So you just want to keep these things in a folder or a binder or wherever it's going to be helpful and beneficial for you to stay organized and keep track of them. So when I would come home from a party, I just throw, I dump everything in a basket on my desk, okay? And then one time a week, I go through one time, I'm every week, but I grab everything in that basket and I enter it into Mary Kay in touch, okay? So that's when I do my weekly accomplishments based on all the information on the sales ticket. That's when I do my perfect program tracking and put all the numbers in my perfect program tracking sheet. That's when I enter my Mary Kay in touch so that when PCP is already there. Okay, so I do it once a week. So all the sheets go in a basket, then I pull those sheets out, enter them into the computer, Theater and then dial them into a filing system, which I'll talk about in just a minute. Um, okay, so let's talk about the filing system. And so what I have is a, um, I could even show you, it's back here. This little black box, looks like just this, it has a bunch of hanging file folders. And those file folders are for just different uh, categories of expenses that I have in my business. And so there's one for um, sales tickets. 
I just have a copy of all my sales tickets in one little file folder. And then another copy goes with their profile or party time sheet. Or, yes, party sheet. And a copy of the sales, a carbon copy of the sales ticket with somebody's profile card or party sheet is because I want to have a record of what they purchased for follow up purposes when it comes time to follow up with them. You kind of want to know the products that they're using. And then also, um, when somebody reorders, they usually text you and say, I need some of my foundation. And they don't remember what kind it is or what it's called or which shade that they use. So you need to know as a consultant so you know which foundation to send to her. So you're keeping a record of that with her profile card. And then you either have your party sheets in a binder or your profile cards. I keep them in a, it's like a big photo box. And they're just alphabetized A through Z. All my customers are in there with a record of what purchased. Okay, and then going back to my box for the filing system, the other things that that, the other folders that are in there are different categories of expenses that I have for my business. So as I'm getting receipts, I'm filing them away in these folders. And you'll know how to make the folder tabs in just a minute when we talk about taxes. Here's the, just the basics of some Office organization, let's move on to time management now. <laughs> this is a big one, um, you know, just kind of a big one. And we are going to just cover the basics, you guys, because I could make you, um, I could make this training very, very long if we covered everything, but I'm just going to cover the basics of time management. Not plug for the 21 day boxer challenge. That's another. Um, source of training that we have for you are these 21 messages that are boxer messages that you can get plugged into and listen to 21 days in a row and we do have a big section on time management so you can get more information there about the basics and here is the weekly plan sheet this is a wonderful tool that you can use to keep track of your week and to make your plan and uh, you don't have to use this tool. This is just an example of a tool that you could use. There's also all kinds of planners. Pam Shaw has a 90 day design your life planner that you could use. So the tool doesn't necessarily matter the most. It's a concept behind the tool. Okay, so you could use this sheet or you could use something else. It doesn't really matter. Just that you're using something. Honestly, if you took away all my time management tools and just gave me a napkin and a pencil, I could still effectively plan a good week and allocate my time and design my, my days and design my life as long as I have a napkin and a piece of, you know, and a pencil. I, I'm able to do that. So don't get too caught up or hung up on what tool you're using. The more important thing is that you're using something and that you're being intentional about how you invest your time. And one way that you can use this plan sheet, and this is a part of your little challenge for Pink Boot Camp is to print one of these off, you guys, and just create an ideal schedule. Like, what does the ideal schedule look like? And everything in there, you add, if you have another job, you add the hours that you're at work. You add your date nights. You add your church attendance. You add your Bible study. You add your quiet time. You add your workout time. You add your time with your kids. You add your part-time job. And just everything that you have going on in your life. You add your classes that you attend. Um, and you create an ideal schedule. And by doing this, it helps you to see just black and white the time that you do have available to invest in your Mary Kay business. The first time I did this, I was honestly surprised at how much white space I had. Okay, white space was taken up by another responsibility or obligation. I'm like, yeah, I do have time for this. I'm busy, but here's a little pocket of time and here's another little pocket of time. So it helped me to see the time I had available to invest in my Mary Kay business. There are 158 hours in a week. Exercise before. Um, I'm going to have to grab a calculator for this, but um, let me do that. Okay, so I've got a calculator here. There's 158 hours in a week. That's 24 hours and seven. No, I'm sorry, there's 168. Okay. Glad, I got, glad I grabbed the calculator. So there's 168 hours in a week. Let's just say you sleep eight hours a night. So that's 168 minus 56. Okay, 
let's say, so you're down to 112. Let's say you work a 40 hour work week. Let's just take off 40 hours. Okay. Let's take off an hour a day just for getting ready. Um, and that's probably generous, but let's just say you need, you know, you need to get ready every day. Um, and so let's take off seven hours for that. And then let's just take off an hour a day for just eating and any kind of meal prep that you have. That's another seven. And then let's just say you spend, you know, three hours in the evening with your, your family and your kids, so three, ten, seven days a week. And, and I think that's very generous. Minus 21. Okay, you guys, so you take up all that time. You have 37 hours left in a week. That's almost a full-time job. <laughs> you could almost work two full-time jobs after you've slept eight hours, after you've spent time with your family, after you've gotten ready, you've eaten, um, and you've worked a full-time job. You still almost have another full-time job availability to invest in other things and, and possibly your Mary Kay business. And you guys, if you're like, if you want to kill it in Mary Kay as a new consultant, that's really just 15 hours. If you're investing 15 hours um, a week into your Mary Kay business, doing income producing activities, you'd be killing it. So it's minus 15. You still have 22 hours of free time left to still allocate to other things. Um, let's say you work out an hour a day. I think that's generous. Let's just take off another seven. You still have 15 hours left. And so I hope this exercise shows you that we do have enough time. There's this quote that I read once that changed my perspective on time management. We always hear life is short, okay, life is short. And yes, in some ways it is. But this quote helped me to see time in a different way. It says, it's not that life is short. In fact, we've been given plenty of time on this earth. And, and whatever God's called us to, he's gonna give us the capacity for the time and the energy that it takes to achieve that vision or that goal. And so it's not that we don't have enough time, it's that we squander our time. And we waste our time. We invest it in things that don't create significant significance and that don't have value and that don't create a future for our family. Okay? So you have enough time. You, even the busiest woman can find time. And in fact, I think busy people are more effective at their Mary Kay business because when you have time, you waste it. And when you're limited with your time, you use it wisely and productively, investing in things that create significance and add value. And so, um, so I hope you take time to do that exercise and to map out your life on a weekly plan sheet and create your ideal schedule and to see the time that you have available to invest in Mary Kay doing income producing activities. And then check into the 21 day boxer uh, challenge for a couple of more tips and ideas and concepts about how to invest your time well. So for the sake of time, we're gonna move on to money management, you guys. Um, this is another of my most favorite topics here. Um, and again, I do cover this topic in more detail on the 21 day boxer challenge. So to that, but let's just cover the basics of money management. And I truly believe that your Mary Kay business is a cash cow. Starving in an orchard. If you are not making the amount of money that you desire to make that would provide for your family or bless your family, you're starving in an orchard. unlimited income and um, money in Mary Kay. You really can. Um, and so you're going to have to work for it. So that's the catch, you guys. That's the catch. It's not get with team. you got to work for it. Okay, so if you're willing to work for it, you can make any amount of money that would provide for or bless your family when you're willing to work for it. Okay, so don't be starving in an orchard when you have this amazing Mary Kay opportunity in front of you. Okay, so just some basics. You want to have a separate check with savings account, possibly even a separate credit card for your Mary Kay business. You do not commingle your personal finances with your business finances. You want to separate church and state. You can keep them separate. Probably the worst mistake you could make is start to mingle those together. Okay, separate checking, separate savings, possibly even a separate credit card for your Mary Kay account. Um, is, I believe, very, very important to build to a full inventory or start with a full inventory in Mary Kay. That's a part of the service that we provide to build lasting, loyal customers. And uh, there is nothing like having product on hand for your girl, um, for your customer, that will make her want to come back. Product. Because she's used to Walmart going and picking it up. 
She wants that to be you. And if she can't get it from you, she'll find somebody to get it from. It just might might be the, the other Mary Kay consultant down the road who is more convenient to order for her and she can get her products faster. Okay, and I realize not everybody can start with a full store, but you absolutely can build to a full store inventory when you're intentional about it. Okay, so I want to talk briefly about paying off your inventory invested in your Mary Kay business at a star level, either with a loan or a credit card. Um, I'm going to give you my what I consider my best tip, and that's to take your total amount you invested and then divide it by the weeks that either you have the credit card at 0% or that you have the, the life of the loan, however many weeks that is, or just by the amount of time that you want to have it paid off by, divide it by the weeks and pay it weekly. Most loans and most credit cards require a monthly payment. I'm going to advise you to pay it weekly. First of all, that number is smaller. And when we can smaller number, it seems more achievable and doable. Secondly, it keeps you very motivated week to week to make that whatever payment you need to make. Um, that because then you know, okay, I need to do this, this, and this to sell this amount, pay this off, and to move forward in my business. It gives you a focus and a motivation are very powerful. So divide it weekly. Now let's talk about the 60-40 split really briefly. And I'm going to head over to our um, workbook again so we can look at this together. Um, give you some numbers and kind of breakdown of the 60-40 split. All right, here it is. And so let's talk about what the 60-40 split is. When you split your retail sales, um, you're going to put 40% into your personal checking and 60% into your Mary Kay checking. Okay, and, and let me just say that it's all going to start in your Mary Kay checking, and then you're going to make the transfer of the 40% to your personal checking. For example, so let's say, say you sell 1,000 retail in the month. Four, well, all 1,000 is going to go into Mary Kay checking, and then you're going to transfer over $400. So it's 40% of 1,000 into your personal checking. That's in your Mary Kay checking. Now, this personal money here, can be used for multiple things. And first and foremost, the most important thing it can be used for is to pay down your inventory investment. And you guys, that is a beautiful thing, to be able to pay your investment with profits from your business. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. A lot of businesses start off um, in an incredible amount, like incredible amounts of, of having to invest a lot of money. And, um, Initially, don't always have that profit to start paying it off. Well, Mary Kay, you can make that quickly. You can go hold off right today, and you've got cash in your pocket to pay down the investment that you made and to pay yourself. And so uh, that's that's one of the priorities you have with that 40%. Also, reinvesting and building your, your inventory. If you're not at a full inventory, this you can use a portion of this 40 to reinvest so again, incredible opportunity to use profits from your business to grow the business. And then once your um, inventory investment is paid off and you build to a full store, it's just personal fund money and savings to use for whatever that you whatever you want to do. But if you want a financially healthy business, your priorities are these first two bullets here with that 40%. Now with the 60% that you're leaving in your Mary Kay checking account, 50% off the top is just reinvested. I mean, you buy, you sell a cleanser, you restock a cleanser. Okay, and I always kind of laugh when I hear consultants say, like, I just want to sell all my inventory. I just want to sell it all and get it off my shelf. Like that. Because I'm like, why, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to get rid of it all without restocking it? That would be like Walmart saying, we're going to wait until our shelves are bare before we have another delivery truck show up and stock the shelves. That would be like Kroger waiting to sell out of everything before they, they restock it or add more products to their shelves. You guys, how crazy would that be? How often would you go to Walmart or Kroger if that were their business uh, philosophy? You wouldn't go because they wouldn't have what you needed. And so same with us and Mary Kay. As we sell, we restock things so that we keep things in stock because your, your inventory basically is how you make money. It's how you provide customer service for your business. 
And so you are reordering as you are selling. And then 10% of the 60 is just to cover expenses. And here is a list of expenses that you have as a brand consultant. We already talked about PCP. So that's 70 cents. Oh, I just caught a typo that says centers. Okay, we need to get that fixed. So that's 70 cents. Um, then, then you have services like propane your business card and your website. Then you have supplies and samples. So that's section two, things like your, your uh, facial cloths and your mascara app with a mere wholesale order. Then you have postage, postage and shipping and workshops. And so we just did an estimate for you, okay? So this is not, this is, this is just a, an approximate average of what you can put aside per month to make sure all your expenses are covered with your business profits. Um, and so that you're not dipping into your personal money. Now, if you're brand new, there is a season that, that you're doing that. Or there is a season that, let's say, you get a 0% credit card for your inventory. I think it would be totally appropriate to use that to register for seminar or get your plane ticket or put some kind of business expense on that. I think that is appropriate. But then every month that you're selling product and that you're bringing cash into your business, you're setting aside a little bit per month word, there's always cash in your Mary Kay checking to cover these expenses. Okay. And so you do the 60 40 split for each level of the perfect program. So this can pay hey, if you're working at the perfect four level, the perfect six level, the perfect eight level, and the perfect 12 level, you can break down and see the numbers. And we, we meant to fill these in for you. <laughs> and so we will update that too. We meant to fill in those, uh, those numbers. So for example, if you're selling 800 retail, you're ordered 50% of that is 400 wholesale that you're reordering because that's what you sold. And so we, we do give you space here so you can see what that looks like. And then here's a little formula to help you pay down your Mary Kay inventory investment. So you fill this out through these numbers. And then um, this is also another breakdown of the, the perfect program at each level. And so that is Money Mint 101. It's a quick uh, crash course in management. And I just want to encourage you guys to, um, to con continue to invest time. Uh, there are three things that can sink a consultant faster than anything else, and it's poor time management, uh, poor money management, or poor um, just attitude management. And so Mary Kay works, you guys. It really does. I promise the business plan works when you work it correctly and you learn to manage, manage your money well. And I was not a finance person or a money, a savvy money, money management person when I got into Mary Kay, but I was willing to learn. I'm in learning and developing the skills and tracking so that I could have a healthy, um, a financial and sustainable business. And so you can do the same too, even if you're not a numbers or money, a money savvy person. We can all learn and grow in this area. And so let's talk about taxes, and we'll we'll finish out with taxes. Another fun topic, right? So let's go back to our our packet here. This worksheet, because this worksheet is very helpful for you to know what is a tax write-off and how you can benefit from having a Mary Kay business. And let me just first say that it is a tax advantage. And so um, having a small business in your home basically takes expenses that you're paying for already and makes them a tax write-off um, because they are now considered business expenses. So I'm going to guess you had a cell phone bill and an internet bill and paid utilities for your home or your apartment before you, you started Mary Kay. I'm just going to assume that. Well, now that you have an in-home business, those expenses that you're paying for already, all, if not, if not part of them, um, or I'm sorry, part of them, if not all of them are now a tax write-off. And so here are the categories of things that are considered business expenses for you. Okay. And so at the end of the year, you would want to fill this out with the total amount of money you spent on the following things. And then that offsets your income. And for people who normally get a lot of money back, you'll get more back. And for people who normally owe money at the end of the year, you'll probably owe less. 
Now, let me also say I am not an accountant <laughs> and I cannot answer any accounting questions. So if you have them, don't ask me because <laughs> pretty much what I know is right here on the sheet, okay? So you do need to talk to an accountant because I'm not that person in your life. I wear many hats, but that is not one of them. And so um, having an accountant, you guys, and, and being able to ask them questions about specifics of your financial life will be helpful. But here's what I can share with you is that all of the money you spend in these categories is a tax write-off. And so please keep track of it. So do you remember that, um, let me go back to the screen here. Do you remember that black box, that finder thing that I told, told you about? All the little categories that you saw in the workbook on that sheet, they're all tabs and folders in my black little box. And I just stick receipts in them throughout the year. And then I also keep track of it on the spreadsheet. So literally at the end of the year, that little page you saw, I'm turning that into my accountant. And then he's doing our taxes based on that information. Okay, so it's important to keep track of that. And, and you will receive more training and you will receive more support in this area as you walk through your Mary Kay business, especially around tax season. You guys, we normally do workshops and conference calls where people can ask questions and we bring accountants in to ask real life questions that people have so that they're equipped to um, to file their taxes appropriately. But just know that it's a tax advantage. We have some consultants who do Mary Kay part-time because they just enjoy and benefit from uh, the tax advantage that it is to have a small business. So, okay, you guys, well, that concludes um, session number four for Pink Boot Camp. So if you've done all four, congratulations. Way to go, well done. And make sure you fill out the questions in the packet, turn it into myself or your director. Make sure you let her know that you've earned this. Well, if you're in my unit, you earned this. I don't know if you're a director. If, if I'm not your director, I don't know if she promotes this. But if in, you're in my unit, you earn this Mary Kay pendant necklace. And um, may God bless you abundantly in your Mary Kay business. And may you just trust the process and continue to take the next step and be obedient to the process um, trusting that Mary Kay can be an incredible blessing and opportunity to your family. Excited to work with you and support you. And I'm privileged and honored and excited to be on this success journey with you. So that concludes Pink Boot Camp, my friends. Well done. I hope to talk to you soon.